Lord Kitchen, we're talking about. So, you know, he was a great man, phenomenal writer. I studied his work intensively, you know, mm. uh, under some serious microscopic lenses, you know, uh, like real, real detailed study. The genius of his writing ability, you know. So that's mm. one thing I used to wow me with him from small. I was always, I was always advancing English from small, so I always would have been able to read his lyric sheets when he used to be writing lyrics long time. And I used to be amazed at the paragraphs and how he used to rhyme, how he used to rhyme line for line. And then I used to watch the strategy, you know, he used to rhyme. You know. I used to watch his methods and I realized like he have a template he used. You know. I like to stick to the original traditional ways of methods of writing. I, I really strongly, strongly believe that, you know, getting your story, your point across is, is the best way to write music write lyrics I should say you know so I will write a story and make it real for instance example when I wrote Bonnie and Clyde for Destra now that song now was a story and that was me following my father my father's patterns you know and his methods of writing it's like if I recite the lyrics say you know last February was when I lost here in the fed I miss you daily and boy, I can't stop grieving yet. So baby, come back because I need you by my side. Please make some contact. I'm your bunny, you're my Clyde. She talking to a rag, right? It's a rag I write in the story about. I would scare this guy while I die into wave here. Yeah? I miss the way I used to fall and unfold here. Yeah? Just the feeling of you grace in my hand. It make me feel to celebrate and jump up in the bank. I jump in and I'm saying, you're my queen, you're my king, my darling, right? So, you understand? The pattern that I, I, I choose to take here. 